It's Tuesday afternoon, just out for a nice easy run. Um, yeah, the last time I spoke in this, I had wrapped up the Sunday session, um, the long run. The legs were fairly good yesterday. I went for a walk yesterday afternoon, um, that was Monday, and then um, went to the gym last night and did a really, really heavy leg session. I really worked hard on the legs, did lots of deep squats, lots of leg pressing, lots of step ups. So the legs are really sore today, like really sore. Um, yeah, uh, so today I'm just out for a really easy, no intensity at all. The battery's died in the GoPro recording that, so yeah. Uh, yet last night was in the gym, uh, it was the last kind of real heavy leg session before the race So yeah, um, I'll go to the gym again next week and do a heavy enough session But not like last night, last night I just kind of did everything uh, Just an all around body workout but main focus on the legs So yeah, uh, training is still going really well, feeling really fit um, A lot of people are telling me that I look like I lost a little bit of weight Which is a good thing because I was a little bit over uh, I'm happy with that uh, It's getting great encouragement, lots of people seeing my stuff going up in Strava and, uh, telling me that I'm moving well, which I am, and it's feeling good. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Um, tomorrow I'll do another easy run. So I've just done 8K now. Uh, i got to coach the club tonight, so I'll do another 4 or 5K with them tonight. Won't do any of the intensity. I'll just kind of do the warm-up, pull them with them. Uh, and then, yes, uh, an easy run tomorrow. I'll try and get uh, 10 miles at 16K tomorrow. And then intervals on Friday. Another long run Saturday. Or, sorry, another 10 miles Saturday. And then... Sunday will be another long run. Anyway, I'll talk about that as the week goes along. Thursday morning, um, just out for a little walk before I go into work in the clinic. Um, the mood has certainly changed. It has been so upbeat and training has been going so well, but it's certainly changed over the last couple of days. Um, yeah, I did the gym on Monday night and I ran on Tuesday. I said the legs were sore, so yesterday the legs were in agony. So it was a really big session that I did that Monday night. Um, so I ran last night and it was a really tough run to do, uh, it was just 10k easy, um, the legs were a little bit sore but that's not what made it tough, it's that we're two and a half weeks out from the race now, we still don't know whether the race is going ahead, we haven't had any emails so often in the last, they, they emailed us, I think it was the 1st of November, it was not Monday, so today's Thursday, so it wasn't Monday, it was Monday before that, they emailed us to say that the race might not be going ahead, uh, they said that everybody should keep training, that they were doing everything they could to, keep, to get the race on. And since then we've heard nothing. Uh, so this is theoretically the end of the last big week where we're all just trying to finish off or, 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 or do the last big week before going into the taper. And it's just, it feels so deflating, it just feels so empty running now. Um, I can only assume that the reason why they can't tell us that the race is on is that the public mood isn't there for the race. So now I'm thinking, do I really want to go over there? If the, like, Obviously you feel sorry for all the people who've lost lives and lost homes and lost businesses. Do I really want to be going over there and running a marathon? Um, so yeah, look, the final week of marathon training before taper is a very difficult week to do. And doing it, not knowing that the race is going ahead is making it even more difficult. Uh, and now I don't even know whether I want to do the race um, I think if I got an email off and saying the race was cancelled until a couple of till after Christmas I think I'd be quite happy um, but I think now it's just it's just really you just feel really let down that they haven't let us know you know just make a decision we know from Covid that like maybe before COVID you would have thought well you can't move a race because it was so it seemed like so logistically difficult but during COVID all these massive races got moved around I mean, I'd signed up to a 70.3 Ironman in Barcelona and it got moved by a couple of months and it went ahead it's just uh, I don't know I, I, I understand the predicament you know the disaster in, the, in Valencia has been you know has ripped lives and, and, and it seems a bit contrite to be complaining about Martin, but at the same time, it's like two and a half weeks out, you know. I think we deserve to know. They just send us an email saying, look, it's most likely it's gonna go ahead, you'll keep training, or look, we're really not sure, or just cancel it and do it, tell us that it's on, and the end of January or in February, I don't know, but at the moment, just being left, every every time I get a notification on my phone, I'm grabbing it to see if it's an email from the Valencia Martin, and 
yeah, every day goes by and it's, the email doesn't arrive, so. It's just, I know, and people, everybody who I'm talking to is saying, you know, oh, just keep training, you know, just keep, oh, just keep it ticking over, keep training as if the race is going on. And I get what they're saying, but anybody who's trained for a marathon, who's done a marathon, knows that that's difficult. And trying to do that, tr trying to do that last difficult week, not knowing that the race is on. And, and, and coupled with that as well is that, when you sign up to the Valencia Marathon, you have to ask to be in whatever wave you're in. So I've asked to be in the, from, the, from 3 hours to 3.10, because I've trained for 3.05 and I think I'm in 3.05 shape. And I got an email, to t uh, I, I, I got told that I'm in the 4.40 to 5 hour wave. So it's a big race, so there's going to be a lot of traffic. So I emailed them to say, look, you can, you can, you can send them a, a little message to, to get moved if you're in the wrong wave. So I've done that five times and I haven't heard back from them. So yeah, so coupled with the fact that the race probably isn't going to go ahead, or not knowing when it's going to go ahead, I'm also in a wave where I'm going to be running with people who are going to go for 4.40 to 5 hours. So yeah, I think as I'm talking here, I'm realising I should just knock it on the head and sign up to the Seville race, which is on in February. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do because this is mild torture now, not knowing every day. And when I think about the fact that I'm in that 4.40 wave, it's just, I've, I've put in so much work, I've remained so positive, I've trained so hard that I just think this is just, yeah, time to move on I guess. What a difference a day makes. It's Friday and I've just finished the workout in the park. Uh, I pretty spent, it was a tough session, I did uh, just a 3k warm up and then 3k tempo and then 8 by woman on off, just working hard for a minute. Uh, this morning. Friday morning, we got an email from, well, rumors started going around that the race was gonna take place to Valencia Marathon. And then around lunchtime today, I got a, 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 an email saying that the race is going ahead. So all systems are go. The positivity has returned. I know at the start of this video, I was very down and very glum about it, but it looks like everything's going in the right direction. So yes, we're all on for the Valencia Marathon now. Um, really looking forward to it. The excitement had totally gone, but I, I felt quite excited today driving to the park to do that run. So hopefully everything keeps going in the right direction. And then um, good luck to everybody who is doing it. But look, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up. I'll start another vlog for the week ahead. But yeah, this is this week has been tough. Uh, kind of mentally, the mental strategies for this week were difficult to get through because it just looked like it wasn't gonna go ahead, and the frustration was beginning to turn to anger. But anyway. All is, all is well that ends well. So yes, marathon is on and um, I'm looking forward to it. So look guys, run far, run fast most of all, run sensible.